Hi everybody, it is May 25, 2019. This video that I'm going to show you was posted on Facebook with this caption. Maybe I should also say this. After we helped the man out that just lost everything, he owned, including his truck, Officer uh, Sappington wrote him not one, but two $500 tickets. Terrible person and must most definitely not the person I want responsible for the safety of our community. Please get him off the police force. Okay, communities, come together. You have power within your own self to get rid of psychopathic control freaks, power trips that they go on because they happen to wear a uniform outrageous, but you know what? We got here because we don't hold anybody accountable for their behavior. And <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether they wear a uniform or they're a family member or a friend or <clears throat> a co-worker. Right now, we are facing such a breakdown in, in, in morality. It's frightening. It's really... You know, people believe that they can just treat people however the hell they want. Well, when you have a lot of people behaving this way, when you have an awful lot of people in your community, and, well, they love to live a delusion that they're moral people, good people, when their behavior says otherwise, uh... There's a lot of them, and they all support one another in their delusion. When you have an awful lot of people behaving this way, nothing, nothing will manifest that will be healthy or good. We will only descend into a darker nightmare. And that's why I have very often said it is so important for all of us to work on ourself, to face the truth about ourself so that we can, you know, clean up behaviors that we have that destroy trust, that um, hurt people, betray people, uh, create for them consequences that they end up in a worse position. This is happening. And it's not just those authority figures. It's just ordinary Americans. And if we don't do that work necessary, then we're complicit with the destruction if you're not facing how you contribute to this destruction that's taking place, if you're not facing how you are complicit with breaking down trust, with hurting people, then you are complicit. You're actually directly involved in the evil that is taking place because you are responsible for the lack of trust. And we need trust. And when we don't have trust, we have nowhere to turn to. But you know, this is an example of an authority figure on a power trip treating a resident who is trying to help someone who lost everything, everything in the flood, the floods that are taking place. And this was, um, this was in Sperry, Oklahoma. Yes, get him off the police force. Stay here, I'm a cool man. I am. Hey, we're just trying to help people, dude. Get 
don't fuck with me today. That was coming from the police officer. For almost 48 hours. TC, we're shit. trying to help people. Well, right now we. We're trying to help people, DC. That's my fucking boyfriend. He's driving that truck to help people. Back up a little bit, Cam. You're coming out and get a goddamn car broke down. How fucking stupid is that? We're trying to help people. No, you're not. You're getting hey. a fucking car. Hey, I'm not talking about respect. Right. You talk it's to enough. It's enough. Okay? And she just asks for respect. Well, she doesn't get it. Do not come past the barricades to get a car again. We are already past the barricades. Like, yeah. it's, it's enough. We're trying to help people. Well, no, but they're All not right, worth so their life. They're nice calling us and telling us when they're where they're at. You if I send people out there, out there and they're not there because you guys already tried to fucking get them, or if you guys get stuck, join somewhere else, Mr. who do you fucking think I got to deal with? We're just trying to help people. We're not trying to be it. You call our office and we'll coordinate it. Okay? I've already been up for 48 hours digging with this crap. I'm not dealing with the retardedness today. And I understand that, but I'm not dealing with this crap today. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, but do you understand what I'm telling you? I Half the people we've already had to no 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 stop. Half the people we've already had to go get this morning because they decided to go help people themselves and got stuck on the way. We're okay. No, we had a guy trapped in a truck for three hours because his phone went dead and he was on the side of the road because he was trying to go up and go help somebody. Nobody knew he was out there. We came across him by accident, going to get somebody else. You understand where I'm coming from now? I am not dicking around with you all today. I was nice yesterday. You know, and I told everybody to stay away from the barricades and quit going in the water. We were with fire truck yesterday. Yeah, I know. Helping people put people hey, out. Like, I think that you, yeah. I, am, I understand, but I was nice about it yesterday. So I'm not going to be nice help. about it today. Help. I'm not going to be nice about it today. Hey, we're done fucking helping people. That's fine. If we're going to get in trouble, we ain't no. going to fucking help nobody. That's fine. All right, so. Stay out of the water, okay? Yes or no? Sure. Stay out of the water. If I have to come back down, I am cutting everybody a fucking ticket, and it's five hundred dollar fine. Is that simple? I'm letting you know right now. I'm going to my house tomorrow. It's fine. All right. If you go to your house tomorrow, and we have to come back and get you. Guess what's going to happen? I'll be all right because my house is on still. <laughs> if we have to come back and get you tomorrow. Hey, it's nice to meet you, sir. You gotta shake my hand. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I, I understand. You gotta shake my hand, or are you gonna like leave me hanging? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Seriously? I'm just trying Get down. to tell you. I'll take your ass people. in. It's that simple. I didn't do anything Stop. wrong. Stop. Okay, guys. Just shut this deal up. Right. Unhook this truck. Leave it back here. Knock it off. Small time cost. Wow. Well, when did the first responders... Um, monopolize helping people. Well, this has taken place because there is an agenda that everybody has to bow to their authority figures. You have to obey them and they get to treat you like shit and it doesn't matter. And then when you try to get out of that situation in a nice way, you know, shake my hand and nice to meet you or whatever. Uh-uh. Doesn't matter. There's no resolving anything in this country anymore. It's really pathetic what we have become. Um, this Harvey, remember this? I posted this on my channel. Houston, 2017. So this is just what happened. Uh, this is just so this just happened, sorry. Jared Kirkendall and Scott Green was just told that they have to leave Vider, Texas because they are not needed here. But yet they are doing more than the law enforcement is doing here. This is the biggest crock of bullshit I've ever heard. Fucking power trip. Helping people and get treated like that. Oh, and as you can see, he was a total asshole. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, this is how people are being treated very often today. Yes, I need you to come down here. For what? Because I said so! Whoa. Boy, you gotta, you gotta be so proud. Because I said so!
Wow. Power trip. I am the law. Well, I've said for eight years, communities have to come together and you have to be proactive and you have to go down to your police departments, hold a meeting and demand that your police officers do not behave in this way and that they still remain peace officers. Yeah. Well, tried to have that meeting in Great Barrington and I was laughed at. I was laughed at by friends who, because I saw the infiltration of the Department of Homeland Security in this little Great Barrington town of what, population 7,000? Suddenly I see the police officers there. They're, uh, they have a German Shepherd. They, they get this German Shepherd and I was wondering, oh, where did the money come from? Department of Homeland Security. Uh, and when you know about the infiltration of the Department of Homeland Security, you know that your police department in your local area, your local community, it will be militarized. And that's exactly what happened in Great Barrington. Well, couldn't get anything going from my friends. Nothing. They didn't care. They didn't care. Well, traveling around the country, I see people living in their communities, and they don't care. Awake, asleep, it doesn't matter. Okay. This guy, by the way, he drove 16 hours from Illinois because he has this vehicle with four-foot tires, and he was rescuing people. What do you need? Climb on down. What do you need? I want you to climb on down. I want to look at your identification. I don't have it. It's in the truck. Come on down. Come on down right now, or you're not going to be leaving. Because my house is flooded too. And I've got to be out here helping people. I appreciate that you're here, but we've had enough. All right. I'm going to drop this lady off at her house. Yeah, that's fine. I'm Take care of everybody that's on here, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so he says that his home was flooded. Um, maybe that was just a stress response from him. Stress can make people behave in ways that they wouldn't ordinarily. Fine. But we have seen this kind of behavior over and over and over again when that police officer has no stressful circumstance. You know, people just trying to help one another. We see laws being passed you know, don't help the homeless. Uh, don't feed them. Don't. And if you do, you've committed a crime. Look, this country has changed into something that is foreign. I live in a foreign country now. I know that a lot of you can relate to that. If we don't change our behavior and how we are responding to these changes, it will only get worse. 
And if you can't change your behavior, well, sorry, but uh, it, it does take work. And most people don't even feel like they have to change their behavior because they're living a delusion thinking that they're absolutely fine. Their shit don't stink. I'm a good person. When nothing they're demonstrating speaks to that. It doesn't matter what you say, it really matters what you do. You know, and this guy coming down from Illinois with this vehicle that he had, four foot tires, I mean, he could have been put to great, a, a great service. But instead, no, go. We don't need your help. Bullshit. Houston needed this man's help. The surrounding areas of Houston. But instead, no, because you're not, you're not one of us. And you don't wear a uniform, so get the hell out. I I'm tired of it, guys. I'm really, I'm sick of this. And this man does need to be fired just from the way he is treating these residents in Oklahoma. A man who lost everything, even his vehicle that they're towing, he gives him two tickets worth $1,000, and he probably thinks he's a really good guy. No. No. We've got to start holding people accountable. We have to.